my biggest strength in exec meetings is my ability to argue. My parents are both big time attorneys representing clients like Monsanto, Bill Cosby, the NFL. So let's just say I know how to effectively negotiate. So uh, how much is it going to take for you to shut up about my friend uh, confusing your daughter's play place as a toilet? Like more? Just, just, yeah. You know, just, just take it. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Get out. You're a valuable neighbor. All right. Thank you. Come on, Greg. So, guys, the party theme I thought for this week is in no way offensive and totally PC. Board games. All right? Every room is a different board game. You know, part of me is actually very proud of you. You've come a long way in terms of appropriateness since you first became social chair. And I am, of course, referring to the banner you hung on move-in day at the beginning of the year. When I'm in exec board meetings or chapter or whatever, I just try to be honest and reasonable and present everyone with logical ideas and explanations. It is a wildly ineffective strategy. I do like the board game theme, but there are some things within that idea that I have to veto. For instance, how on the Candyland floor, you wanted a Molly forest and blow-capped mountains. It's hilarious you think we can afford drugs. Guys, if that's the problem, listen, how much is it gonna take for us to open up the slopes a Candy Mountain again, huh? Huh? God damn huh? it, that's money from social fee, isn't it? Goldman. How much is it going to take for you to shut up about this money being from social fee? Stop trying to bribe us. That's our money, you ass. Listen, quick quid pro quo here. Stop, I stop, mean... stop, stop with the lawyer shit. Just because your parents are lawyers doesn't mean you know how to argue or negotiate, all right? My dad's a doctor. That doesn't mean I know shit about medicine or health. Oh, really? Because you seemed pretty confident when you diagnosed me the other day. You have intense rage and addiction issues. Okay, well those weren't so much diagnoses as they were casual, yet horrified, observations. No drugs on the Candyland floor. At least not conspicuously. People are going to do them, obviously. But I did like the Daiquiri River. I do want to do the Daiquiri River. When I want to make a point or get my way, I shoot straight and I do not hold back. Fuck this! And fuck you! And to make sure I get what I want, I also make the issue emotional. Are you trying to destroy this chapter, which we all hold so dearly? Our founding fathers would be ashamed. Shame! This is our home, you heartless bastard! The Hungry Hungry Hippos room stays the way it is. Yeah, okay, look. Uh, it's a room where four people stand around a table to see who can take the most out of 30 shots of fireball the fastest. It's a race to the death. I'll give you guys credit, that's a pretty clever idea, but uh, no, we, we are not doing that. I don't really argue or debate, I just kind of yell shit, don't really listen to anyone's opinions, and uh, do whatever I want regardless. This is whore shit. Pure horse shit. Letting you actually have the pledges fight each other but just not use real swords while they're pretending to be chess pieces is a very generous compromise. Not horse shit, come on. I, uh, I uh, agree with Tim, but I don't think he said horse shit. Did you say whore shit? Mm -hmm. yeah, I heard it. You know that the saying is horse shit. Horse shit. Yeah, I know that saying, Greg, but horse shit is disgusting. And that's what I think of Tim's opinion. It's whore shit. Is, uh, is a whore's shit Worse than a horse's? Uh, yeah, I think it might be, Greg. Let's see, uh, a horse lives in a stable, has a steady diet, a real nice 11-year-old girl brushing its mane every day. A whore has a terrible diet, constantly doing drugs and drinking alcohol, plus the mental stress she has. Think about that, and getting pounded in the rectum, the physical stress from that. And let's get back to the diet for a second, because the things that businessmen make whores eat for money, you wouldn't even believe it if I told you, buddy. You wouldn't believe it. It. And let's just let's just let's just not even think about the amount of semen she swallows, okay? okay? I, I got it. It's I, a nightmare in that toilet, Greg. A nightmare. Jesus Christ. All right, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We are gonna have the board game party, but there's gonna be one important addendum to this party. The party has to be safe for humans. Can we do that? Probably not. Probably not. Is there anything else? No. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>